love, love, love these jigs. This is a half ounce uh, Buckeye balling out jig. It's the ones that uh, Swindle came up with the design. I'm pretty sure it's got a three or four out. I think it's a four out. I think it's a flipping hook. I don't know. Looks like a Gamagatsu. But anyway, it's a badass little hook, and these are badass little jig heads too. Another thing I like about them is the, the vertical line tie. When Swindle was explaining it to me, he said that you won't get hung up as much if your line tie on a jig is vertical. All the ones I throw, which I have a mold, I have a do-it mold for like these little round balls, and if you know me, I'm a big fan of round balls. <laughs> the line tile on those are horizontal. I don't get hung up as much with this and it just, it seems to come through cover a lot better. They make like a three eighths, a half ounce and a three quarter. They might make more, but that's all I've got. I really like the three quarters. I might actually have one. I do, I do. So here's the, uh, the three quarter. This is, I mean, that's a big old ball head right there. Same deal. It's got the horizontal or the uh, vertical line tie on it. This is a uh, color that, or the skirt color that I tied. It's like a green pumpkin orange. That's kind of like my go-to skirt color. I love that color. I don't care what you say, I love it. And it doesn't matter if you don't, but I do. But yeah, no, it's, it's a popular color. A lot of people like it. Some people call it Bammer Crawl. You know, I started tying this skirt a while back. This old dude used to time back in the day that my buddy was telling me about and he gave me one of those jigs and I was like, yeah, all right. And I started catching fish on them and that's like my go-to color now. Most of the time I'll hand tie these jigs instead of using the rubber band, like the rubber collars. If I do use a collar, I'm gonna use like the real, real, real little ones. They're almost like for punch skirts. I just feel like they tighten the skirt up really tight and make it flare out a little bit. And I got like another little trick I do. I'm, I'll take another ring and pop it up underneath the skirt and push it up over the keeper. Kind of flares it out a little bit. This three quarter ounce box and out jig that's that's a wicked jig the wee guards are perfect on them we've got a green pumpkin blue d-bomb trailer on this which i love green pumpkin blue and here's another one this is like i'm kind of out of skirts i'm running low on on skirt material so i wanted to tie some jigs last night or put some together this is like a root beer green with the orange in it that's a good color my favorite right there is that green pumpkin with the orange and I love that flare I know a lot of people like the finesse jigs with the short collar on them I like them a little bit longer to where they get that flare like that gives it a little bit more body they're great skipping jigs too I mean you can skip them swim them drag them wood rock that's why I like these round balls are so versatile and pretty much do anything with them really want to go to the lake and there you go, right there. Here's a nut. Here's one of my jigs that I tie. This is a 3 8 ounce. Just a regular uh, round ball, and this is a 4 out Gamagatsu flipping hook that I have in this. And you notice the, the line tie on this is horizontal instead of vertical. This is my all black jig. I've got a black D-bomb on it. I call this my murdered out jig. It catches them in clear water, stained water, muddy. It's just a good looking jig. Like you get a lot of confidence. I'm the type of person that gets a lot of confidence on what I'm throwing. If it looks good, I got confidence. If it's something shoddy about it, I'm gonna probably cut it off or fix it or something like that. This one's actually hand tied as well. And what I'll do is when I hand tie these jigs, I'll take a black Sharpie and I'll just kind of go around the wire just so it's not like got that green wire green accent blazing out looking like blaze green <laughs> yeah that's my murdered out jig i love this jig my jig setup is usually a seven foot medium heavy denali lithium rod perfect rod for skipping casting slinging i'm using i actually went down to 18 pound sunline on this on you know skipping jigs or whatnot i'm using a lose smash reel it's a seven seven one to what it, seven two to seven five to one ratio reel this is my jigs so i could fish this all day with my little jiglets hopefully i'll get to go fishing i'll get some more footage if not you're going to be stuck with my jig video which is cool too because these things are just i love them like i like looking at them i like playing with them how you doing i'm good you know it's like playing gi joe except you got gi jigs <laughs> Come on.